Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like Christmas in February. This is the largest payday prep I've done to date. What you see in front of you represents about 600 or so dollars of fiat currency. And I'm going to tell you towards the end of this video how I got all of this food for free. So stand by. Before I start showing you all what I got, let me go ahead and give you a warning, ladies and gentlemen. You all know if you've been following me for a while, that I'm a cycles guy. I like to study cycles. And what I have to say about that is this. I'm not trying to scare anyone or alarm anyone. However, what I think I'm going to do now is give you a little bit of good advice. And that is, try to get as prepped as you possibly can within the next two to three months at the latest. Because I think that wicked things this way come. I think... This table is about to collapse, so I'm going to try to get the heavy things out of it first. <laughs> As you can see here, I picked up a couple of gallons of vegetable oil, and we usually use these just for frying stuff. Actually, these are not gallons. They're only 96 ounces each, but not a bad deal for about $8. These are a favorite here in the Alaska Prepper household, so I went ahead and picked up a couple of them just to make sure that we have them. And... I found a way to make extra room in my pantry. So now I have a lot more room for things that really matter. I'll do a video about that here when I finish doing what I'm doing. If you watch one of my previous videos where manufacturers, or not manufacturers, but producers of ketchup and mustard and condiments and things like that were saying that prices were going to get more expensive. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I believe them. I believe them 100%. Because usually the only time that these people don't lie is when they're talking about money going up. When they're talking about prices going up. When they talk about prices going down, you have to really second guess what they're saying. But when they're telling you that prices are going up, pretty sure they mean it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're thinking. When I took all those condiments out of the way, something exposed itself. Yes. Loaded up on the junk food. Got some more M&Ms because someone in the chats is always telling Victor where to find them. Got some chocolate covered almonds. And Mrs. Alaska Prepper really likes these, so I got a couple bags of these. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I got the box of Snickers bars. You all remember when you can get a Snickers bar for about 15 cents or a dime back in the day? Incredible. This box of Snickers cost about $37. It brings $48, so they're a little less than a dollar a piece, but that's still so much more than what we were used to paying when we were kids. I ended up getting some cream cheese. That's just for regular use. We also picked up some marinara sauce. In all honesty, I didn't know that they sold marinara sauce like this until I watched Billy and Dee's uh, video from Frontier Preppers where they got some of these, so I went ahead and picked some up too. Another thing that I saw that Billy and Dee picked up on their last payday prep were these cases of black beans. And I was hoping when I went to Costco today that they still had them on sale. Ladies and gentlemen, there's 11 cases of black beans here. Each case brings 12 cans of black beans and they were only $4 a case. It comes out to like 25 cents or 30 cents a can. All I know is that it's cheaper for me to buy these than to can them myself just because of the lids. The lids are about 30 cents a piece and then all the time that you put into it, including the black beans. So this was a great deal. We definitely stocked up on eggs, ladies and gentlemen. I went ahead and got, what is this, eight dozen eggs of the organic. And I went ahead and got two dozen of the regular eggs that they sell, factory eggs. The reason I got some of these is because I want to try making pickled eggs. I've never made them before. And I figured we'd give them a try with just regular eggs, see how they come out. For any of you that have never tried these, shiitake mushrooms, they're like dried and seasoned. These things are awesome. I went ahead and grabbed eight bags because they were on sale. And also, they're being discontinued at Costco. So if you have a Costco near you and you like mushrooms, try these out. They're supposed to be eaten like a chip. But what we do with them is, is we put them like on pizza. And whenever we make uh, spaghetti sauce, stuff like that. They work just as good and they last a lot longer than if you got fresh. It was time to stock back up on our paper plates. I always try to have at least one or two of these on hand. Whenever we get down to two, we get two more. 
And then next time we get down to two, we'll get two more. But these will last us quite a long time. This right here, 165 plates per pack, not too bad for like $16. And that 165 plates, one of these packs will probably last us anywhere between four to six months. We ended up getting some more of the mozzarella cheese sticks that you saw me do on my last payday prep. I think I showed those on my last payday prep. And these were so good that we decided to get some more to put them in a food saver bag and put them in a freezer just to have. And these are not a bad price at all. It comes with six pounds of mozzarella sticks and it was about $13. So not a bad deal. This is the boring part, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just got some light bulbs. Just to let you know that these LED light bulbs, they work great. We put LED light bulbs in all of our light fixtures in the house when we moved in about four and a half years ago and one of them finally gave out and it was the one that's outside on our porch that's exposed to the elements so these are pretty good light bulbs this was a pack of six and i think i only paid about 13 or 14 dollars for this pack of six but they should last a very long time since this was all free i decided to go ahead and get enough cubed meat or stew meat to do another batch of meat in my pressure canner so I went ahead and got about 16 pounds of stew meat, and I'm going to go ahead and do another session of pressure canning to put them away in the pantry. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we went ahead and splurged a little bit and got some ribeye steaks, which were actually at a pretty good price. I was pretty impressed that it was only $11.99 a pound for the ribeye steaks. I think last time I got these, you heard me complaining that they were like $14.99 a pound or something like that. So... It looks like they're killing off all the excess heifers, and we're capitalizing on it now. However, you better put away some meat, because I think that in the future, you're going to end up relying on the meat that you can and put away. Went ahead and picked up a couple of these eight packs of the uh, chili. This chili that we buy at Costco is pretty good. What's it called? Calle Drive Gold Chili with beans. This is pretty good. You can actually go ahead and mix this with your rice when you're cooking rice, and it actually comes out pretty good. We got a couple of these, and these actually went up in price. I believe they used to be like $9.99, now they're like $11.99 each. Went ahead and got some popcorn, microwavable popcorn. And ladies and gentlemen, I know people are going to say, what happens if the electricity goes out? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a put away for long-term storage. We have microwavable popcorn here once in a while, and it's just something nice to have. And if the electricity ever went away for good and it was never coming back, I'd start up the generator every once in a while just to use the microwave. Got a couple of boxes of Cheez-Its. Why? Because you have to have your Cheez-Its, ladies and gentlemen. This is something new that we've never tried, but this is red lentil spaghetti. And it's just made with red lentils. So we'll see uh, what it tastes like. And if it's any good, I'll let you all know. And I believe this is gluten-free for those of you that are gluten intolerant. And this is red lentil spaghetti, and it actually looks pretty good. I think I'll enjoy it. We'll see how everyone else likes it. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I had to go ahead and restock with some of these Vienna sausages. Why? Because Victor has been devouring my stock. So I got another case so that I can go ahead and fill in my gap. We also enjoy saltine crackers with our soup, so I went ahead and stocked up on these. I actually have two boxes that are, have not been opened yet, so this is going to be good to fill in the gap and to make sure that we have them. In case we need them and we know we're going to use them. And the last thing that I got, ladies and gentlemen, was a couple of packs of Ziploc bags. This is the multi-pack, and that one back there is the gallon size. We go through Ziploc bags a lot here. And it's just nice to have them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how is it that I got all of this food for free? All right, well, I'm going to tell you. First of all, if you're not a responsible person, this is not going to work for you, okay? I have a Costco credit card. And every time that I use Costco credit card, I get a rebate for whatever I bought. Some things I get a bigger rebate than others, but nonetheless, I get a rebate for everything. Even if I pay medical bill, I'll get a rebate because I use my Costco Visa card. Therefore, I use it for everything. However, this is the trick, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Get ready for this because this is very important. I use my Costco credit card for everything. However, I always pay it off at the end of the month before the bill is even due to make sure that I don't incur any interest whatsoever. If you're able to do that and you have a Costco near you, you can get a pretty good chunk of money back every February, depending on how much you spend on it throughout the year. 
So like I said, I use it for everything. I use it for gasoline. I just paid my fuel bill, my heating fuel bill with it about two weeks ago. If we go to the dentist, I use it to pay for the dentist. I pay my phone bill with it. I pay my light bill with it. I pay everything with it. And at the end of the year, I get a good chunk of money back. This year, I got more than $600, obviously, because this was about $600 worth of food and stuff. And it works out just fine. So if you know how to use interest, you will make a little bit of money. However, if you don't know how to use interest, you'll end up paying interest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this motivates you to go out there and get your stuff stocked up. Stock up your pantry. Fill it to the rafters, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be a very interesting year. And I think that the next two to three months is going to be more interesting yet. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I am out.